Girls have been put to the test at Penfold's cellar door. Adelaide wine enthusiasts swamp the estate to find out if their top drops have stood the test of time and how much they're worth now. It takes a special occasion to pop the cork on a decades-old bottle of Grange Hermitage. Too but cool. Penfold's recorking clinic isn't a celebration. Wine lovers are here to find out how much their rarest reds are worth. People can bring in any Penfold red wine that's 15 years or older. This 1953 Grange could fetch $30,000. It's drinkable, but no longer up to scratch. And this 1962 Bin 60A can go for 10,000, but it too has lost its quality. Bottles are assessed on the level of liquid, taste and smell. This one here's got low level, so it's actually the wine might be fine, it's just at a lower level, so yeah, either drink it or enjoy it. Wines that make the grade are stamped and recorked. Well, we've actually seen 1951, which is in excess of fifty to sixty thousand dollars a bottle, with some terrific fifty fours, tens of thousands. Drops that haven't aged well are devalued with a white dot. I thought it was going to get poured down the sink, quite frankly. <laughs> But it's still worth something. But Ted Musen yeah, said my 72 <laughs> Grange picked up at a bottle shop 45 years ago is a real prize. For a very reasonable price, of course. And it's been sitting in our cellar for, since then. Of around 1,700 bottles tested here, more TV. than 80% have passed and been certified. Experts say the quality of Adelaide wines just gets better and better. We've had a very good hit rate. And we've seen some of the oldest wines we've seen in many, many years. Cal McPherson, 7 News. Wow, some good drinking there. Time for sport now, and so did the